dude, just make better content. Just make better content. What are you? It's simple. Make better content, dude. That's all the advice you need. Just make better content. Nobody's telling them how to make better content. Nobody's telling them why. What's the system that you like implement to make better content? So we're basically gonna go over why top creators or just fast growing creators are winning in general. Now, nobody tells you, a lot of people tell you, you are inconsistent. Nobody tells you, how do you get consistent, right? If you're not gonna make a good video like for somebody else, why would I watch your video? That's how the world works. Feel like this information isn't talked about enough. I wanna see all you guys winning. This is like off what I usually create content about. I'm a tech guy. I'm just here to boost your FPS and stuff like that. However, I feel like this information isn't talked about enough. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're a small creator, people are too easy on you. And that is going to lead to your demise. All I see that 99% of creators here or small creators here, I bet you can search this up on YouTube right now. All that you hear is, dude, just make better content just make better content what are you it's simple make better content dude. that's all the advice you need just make better content nobody's telling them how to make better content nobody's telling them why what's the system that you like implement to make better content how do you get your workflow structured none of that we're gonna dive deep into why and how and what kind of systems do like top creators use like basically what do top creators do that you aren't doing that you can copy and do. You do not have to reinvent the wheel, guys. All you have to do is just add your little sauce to it. Just add a tiny bit of sauce and you're gonna see what I mean. That's it, let's get into it. Let me ask you a question. For the top 1,000 channel, 1,000 people on Twitch, that those top 1,000 people, there's like millions and millions of streamers, but the top 1,000, the 0.000001% of Twitch, what percentage of views do you think they own? How much? Let's search up how much streamers are on Twitch. There's over 8 million streamers on Twitch. And we're talking about 1,000, right? Do the math. This is equal to 0.0125%. 0.0125%. These streamers own literally 53% viewing hours, which is even more important on Twitch. So views is one thing, but viewing hours, like how much hours people are putting into your stream and supporting you and stuff like that, that's probably the number one thing like when it comes to content, retention. They own 50% of all views. It's very skewed. Now Twitch is a little bit different here. Even if you're a small creator, it might not look like a bad number, but if you know how to use this number to your advantage, then this is easy. You'll love this. So most people that go on Twitch, if like you're a regular viewer, you're probably not clicking on some random channel. Twitch isn't really like an algorithmic type like kind of thing. YouTube's a little better with Twitter is even getting even better with that actually twitter is on the come up facebook and eh, algorithm kind of eh. i've heard people aren't getting paid i don't know like i've been hearing some crazy stuff about facebook but they're just in their starting stages they're trying to improve which is fine like we haven't even gotten to the content part yet we haven't even stepped into creating content yet guys this is the beginning like people are trying to throw you in a pool you're not even in the driveway yet so the beginning is choosing your platform wisely you have to choose what platform that you're going to put all those hours in what platform is going to provide you with the greatest return of investment if you are a creator this is creator economics right here and a good person to watch about this stuff guys is devin nash please go check that guy out literally don't even subscribe to me subscribe to that guy's patreon you're gonna be set if you watch all his content what is your currency so your currency as a creator so creator currency equals attention and retention and that equals your money that's how you get paid that's how you get paid a lot of creators want to replace their job and do content creation for a living so that means you gotta replace 40 to sixty thousand dollars per year in order to fulfill this role 40 to 60k that's around average of what people make and stuff like that that's how much money matters like in this that's not small money especially if you're getting started you're young a lot of creators on twitch and stuff are that's a lot of money replace 
So you really got to come at this from the best standpoint or it's not going to look good. And when it doesn't look good financially, guess what? Your mind's off your content. And I see this happen all the time. I can tell you horror stories, guys. What happens when your mind's off the content and you're focusing on bills? You're not making as good content. You're not providing as much value. You got to hold back a little bit. You don't want to talk to anybody. You get less engaging. You become an introvert. It hurts you financially. So that's not a good place to be as a creator. That's the risk you're signing up for. So that's a lot of money. And a lot of creators don't understand how they get paid. So most creators get paid. You could just think of it as ads plus basically sponsorships later down the line. Let me hold on one second. Hold on later down the line, later down the line. A lot of creators make the mistake. For example, G Fuel. Oh yeah, let me promote like G Fuel to my like new audience. And I'm gonna tell you what, what happens to me personally if I'm a viewer, if I'm viewing like your Twitch, Twitter, like YouTube, like videos and stuff like that. I'm telling you right now guys, and I feel like 70% of people that watch videos in gaming and in any other space feels the same way and does the same exact thing. If you're a small creator and you're not providing me enough value at to start, you're not on that level of those top creators. It's kind of an F video and you pull out a G Fuel code clicked off. Stop robbing yourselves, guys. Wait, just be patient. Like the sponsorships, like they'll come. Trust me, they will come. You have to think about this, guys, from a business standpoint. This is just exchanging value from one person to another. For example, I sell services. I have to exchange enough value or even more value for people to buy my services. If I weren't giving them enough value or what I'm saying that I'm supposed to give them, what do you think is going to happen? We're going out of business. If you're a creator, a lot of top creators, they might not look like you guys, but a lot of them, they are very business savvy and they have a system. They run their content creation like a business why do they do that why don't they just oh yeah let me just get up today and just make a video like why don't they do that the reason why they don't do that is number one you're going to be inconsistent that's going to mess up the money number two that's more work number three that's not convenient for your viewer who is the most important person so a lot of top creators have a thumbnail artist they have a video editor they have just an seo guy that comes up with the videos basically the content manager that tells them what to do an agent that gets them into sponsorships they're creating a system the goal is to create a system and this is one thing like that i've learned especially like from business guys that is the number one thing that you could do in your life double down on what you're good at or what you want to do and then delegate what you are okay at or don't want to do so your top goal as a creator is to create a system this is why top creators are so consistent so the reason why it creates consistency. Let me show you an example. This is a creator we actually worked with recently. This guy is absolutely killing it. Top five gaming. This guy has probably the best system that I've ever seen for content creation. People don't even know how he looks. And this guy's killing it. Why? He created a system. He had good people around him. Surround yourself with people that are better than you. Now, this is just general business knowledge, but it's crazy how this stuff, guys, applies so perfectly or so well to content creation. It's like it copy paste. Oh, this is what happens in a business. That's what happens with content. Because if you surround yourself with a banging thumbnail editor, for example, that guy's going to get you more impressions. More clicks equals more money right? That's just how it is. Surround yourself with people that are better than you. And this is just an extra one. Consistent. You want people that are consistent. Now I've even fell for this trap here and we pay like in bulks, like for our thumbnails. I'm not sure if like we pay well or not. I'm not sure like what the actual like average price range is, but I would say that I would be a consistent like thumbnail, uh, like buyer from a thumbnail artist. A lot of thumbnail artists weren't bad. A lot of video editors weren't bad. The problem with them is that they were too slow, right? Delaying the video, making it irrelevant after a week. They were inconsistent. They couldn't get the job done fast enough. They were just not pushing this content creation engine forward. So your system equals 
your content engine right now a small creator right is the content engine that's how you start off but as you go up you are creating a content engine around you you probably don't even have to be in the content engine like this guy now he still does the narrations and stuff like that he still does a lot in the background but he doesn't have to have his photo or just video in every single video and he still gets millions of views in the highest retention I've ever seen. So it's not only about you. That's the main point. You want to know what's the number one mistake that a creator makes. What do you guys think? When I ask a creator, hey, listen, so you want to be a creator? And they're usually like, yeah, yeah, I really want to be a creator. I want to be like this and this guy. I'm like, okay, this is how the general conversation goes. I'm um, like, just tune in their PC, whatever. And I'm like, okay, like, what, what's your plan with it? I want to make content about, huh? Is, it, is that how a business works? The number one mistake is making content for themselves. This is horrible. A business does not buy their own products. We aren't our customers. Who is the customer? That's why this mentality I feel like is so great like for creators. Who is your customer? Are you watching your own videos? I don't think you're gonna get 40 to 60K watching your own video. You are not watching your own videos. Now you could do stuff you like and stuff like that, but if you're trying to replace your main job, don't get me wrong guys. I'm not talking to the people who are doing this as a hobby. You guys are good. You don't want to take this series. You are good. You don't have to follow this. This is for the people that actually want to expand up that level that might not be there yet a lot of creators try to make content for themselves what let me tell you how this sounds that's like me going out and i go to my website and i'm ordering my own services it's like that that's a huge mistake because that is not my goal my goal is for other people to get my services to provide them value so i can expand you as a content creator you are making things for others you are not making things for well you can but most of the time you're not making things for you another big mistake is consistency a lot of content creators are inconsistent a lot like 95 percent of you guys are inconsistent so if I'm a fan of you, let's say I love watching your streams. I love watching your content and stuff like that, but I don't have a set time. I don't have a set date. I don't know when you're posting. You're posting like one month after this and that. I'm gonna move on. I'm not watching you. I'm watching this guy posting five videos. I'm gonna watch him longer. Do you see how TikTok works? You could barely watch a video for more than three seconds. You think I'm waiting for you for a month? You guys gotta work on consistency. Now, nobody tells you, a lot of people tell you, you are inconsistent. Nobody tells you, how do you get consistent, right? You have to tune your content engine. Now, how does the content engine work? So the content engine is basically how you produce your content, right? So think of it like this. A starting creator is supposed to make their own thumbnails. I get mind blown when people are like, oh, I can't post this video because I don't have the money to hire a thumbnail artist. Like that right there, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. If you are the person to say, I can't post my content because I can't afford thumbnail designer and I don't know how to make thumbnails. You're not going to make it. You, my friend, you're out. Strike <laughs> unless you change. You aren't a victim. That's 99% of gamers brought man I even fell into this my early college years I always made myself a victim why is this bad making yourself a victim because you're gonna get comfortable and what does comfortable lead to stagnation and what does stagnation lead to decrease in motivation and what does that lead to that's going to lead to no money or value wasting time if I'm like oh dude like I'm not the top PC like optimizer or whatever because this guy has this amount of people that he sponsors and i didn't get like an investment in my business and but he did so that's why he's winning then i'm gonna be comfortable so i'm not gonna do anything about it which is the worst part and then i'm gonna stagnate so i'm gonna be like oh yeah like it is what it is it is what it is it is, it is what it is <laughs> Oh Lord. And when you say it is what it is, it's going to decrease your motivation because no matter what you do, you think that it's not going to make a difference because you already put yourself into that bubble. And then when you put yourself into that dangerous bubble, that's not a bubble that you want to be in. A lot of this is just like the mental and just the approach. So if you're not going to get up for yourself, why would anybody else? That's how the world works. So the content engine is basically you're going to make your thumbnails. You're going to make your videos or edit your videos. You're going to source video ideas. You're going to 
look for sponsorships like all by yourself because you don't have the money to like leverage for somebody to do this for you or delegate but remember that one thing don't forget this is this will mess up your algorithm so you're going to do all of that yourself what professional creator does is he basically outsources it right top creators or fast growing creators just enjoy the ride right you want to make your ride smooth if you're making an engine you don't want it to jump you up and down right you want it to be smooth you don't want any barriers in your way from posting a video that day that's how you got to make your engine so this guy has a thumbnail artist dedicated to about three to five thumbnails i am not kidding that's how deep they go they make three to five thumbnails for one video and we have people complaining about a five dollar thumbnail from a thumbnail artist when the top creators are paying like hundreds of dollars for three to five they're investing in themselves they're gonna see hire a video editor that understands attention so he understands the psychology of attention he knows how to keep you engaged he knows how to do all that stuff he knows how to j cut all that stuff right better than just the actual content creator then so you're gonna watch the full video you're not gonna watch that first three minutes you're watching the full thing that that video editor is going to be the heart of your and that thumbnail artist to be honest all of them are very important i'm not sure if any is more important than the other probably sponsorships are a little bit down the ladder unless like you're huge but all of these guys that you're gonna get are very important but before you even have the privilege or the audacity to go out and get some of these guys you have to know how to do it if you don't know how to edit your own content you don't know how to make your own thumbnails you don't have any following how are you going to make it you don't have the money to hire them how are you going to make it there's no excuse like that can't be an excuse guys you're telling me you can't if you can't dedicate an hour to three hours to learn how to edit a simple video then how are you going to make it for five to ten years of growing a brand from nothing how are you gonna do that you can't make it one to three hours to learn how to edit but you are telling me that you are going to grow a brand that's gonna take off in about the fifth to sixth year mark because that's usually the average what i like to do when i'm on youtube and i think you guys should do this too because a lot of people look at this and they're like oh dude like this guy was like big out the bat no he wasn't five years ago what did i tell you five years ago this guy was putting in the work the work for five years and now he got to that level Level. that's a long time this is early a lot of people think that they're going to blow up in one year two years the main point is if you think of your content as a business you'll get the gist of this but the problem is that most creators never had a business most creators don't know how to operate like a business like really good i even struggled with this like this is my first business i literally had to learn i had to fail i had to do a lot of stuff just to get here so literally you are going to fail because you don't have the skills so expect five to eight years average if you make it if you are that five percent of creators expect five to eight years